Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with another fragrance haul. And y'all know I've been going a little bit crazy on the fragrances lately. The stuff that I'm gonna show you today is going to be part one of my fragrance haul. <laughs> you know when you've gotta break it into two parts, it's a problem, right? But <clears throat> yeah, this will be part one. Part two, I'll probably try to film within the next week or so. Um, but this is stuff that I have gotten since probably like the end of November till now. And I'm actually done now unless I get a gift card or something like that. I am done until May. So y'all hold me to that. <laughs> so as I did in my previous fragrance haul, I'm going to kind of describe to you what I think about the scents so far. Um, a lot of these, I, like I said, I haven't had them that long, so it's not going to be like a full on review. But if you want to know more about any of the fragrances, let me know. I do do Fragrance Fridays on my blog where I do like a more in-depth review for like one particular fragrance and I do it on pretty much every Friday. Um, so if there's one of these fragrances that you wanna know more about, then definitely let me know and I'll probably feature it in uh, Fragrance Friday. So make sure you subscribe to my blog. It's www.simplyaisha.com and it's always linked in the description box. So let's go ahead and get into the first fragrance. So the first one is one that I don't know why I didn't have it before, honestly. It is kind of popular. Um, when I say popular, I mean, it's not popular as far as like in my everyday life, but it is. it does seem to be popular in the like YouTube fragrance community. <laughs> so um, that one is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. And this is a classic fragrance. I got this in the large size only because of the price. Most of these fragrances I got from FragranceNet um, which has like the best deals. This video is not sponsored. They don't know who I am or anything like that, but honestly, that's where I buy a lot of my fragrances from. So because of the price, um, that's why I ended up getting the larger bottles. Usually I go for smaller bottles, but this one is like a great everyday type perfume. So I'm kind of glad I got the larger bottle, even though I never make it to my fragrances. So this is a lavender vanilla. Um, those are like the <clears throat> the notes that I pick up the most in this but I'm if you're like me I, I'm not a huge fan of lavender because I feel like it reminds me of like you know like lavender essential oil what, what you use to go to sleep or like lavender Lysol <laughs> there's so many like lavender scented household products that I'm usually not a big fan of lavender in my perfumes but in this one it's done so right it's like a creamy a creamy lavender vanilla with like a touch of citrus or something added into it that kind of breaks it up makes it a bit like sparkly when I think about it <laughs> I know that sounds weird but that's what I get when I smell this and it's actually quite comforting and I feel like this is a scent that if you were like a person who wanted a signature scent I feel like this could be a possible signature scent for somebody not for me because I don't you know y'all know I gotta switch it up but if you are the type of person who wants to wear like the same thing every day, I almost feel like this is the type of fragrance that I wouldn't really get tired of. So that's really saying a lot for me. <laughs> so yeah, this is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. Next up is the fragrance that I haven't really made up my mind about yet. <laughs> it's the only one out of this group, but it is Mansara Instant Crush. And I purchased this because, I don't know, ever since I heard about it, I wanted to try it. It's been compared to Baccarat Rouge 540, but to me, they do not smell the same. But I do see why people compare them because there is something in them uh, that smells similar. I believe it's a saffron because uh, that's a note in this, which is also a note in Baccarat Rouge 540. Uh, but they're not the same. This one definitely smells like fruitier, fruitier and less medicinal so if you've tried Baccarat Rouge 540 and you don't like it because of the medicinal smell this may be something that you like I don't want to talk too much about this because I'm actually going to do a Baccarat Rouge 540 video that's going to compare some of the fragrances that are said to be dupes or or very similar to 540 and this is going to be in there but to me I mean spoiler alert I don't really think that this is a dupe however if you like Baccarat Rouge 540 or if you like it but don't love it, this might be an option for you. Hopefully it's not confusing. 
So yeah, that's all I'm pretty much gonna say about this one because like I said, I do have another video coming up that's gonna feature this fragrance. So this next fragrance is one that was a happy surprise for me. Um, in a previous video, I did mention layered fragrances and they had sent me some products. Well, I actually purchased a product from them, a fragrance from them. And this is a new one that they came out and it's called My Sweet Dark Fantasy. Now this is meant to be a dupe or inspiration fragrance of, um, or the inspiration fragrance is by Killian Good Girl Gone Bad, which is very popular with them. I do not own that. Um, but I have heard so many good things about it. When I saw they were coming out with their version of it, I knew I had to try it and I am very happily surprised with it. Based on the notes, I didn't think that it was going to be something that I loved, but I actually really, really like this. I haven't worn it like all day yet, so I don't know about the longevity, but I have worn it like in the afternoon and it stayed on, of course, until I took my shower. Um, so to me, this fragrance smells very sweet, but also a little spicy and like creamy and like a good girl gone bad it has that like kind of like mixture of two <laughs> uh, like a con contrasting type f vibe to it so like on one hand it smells like very like sweet and innocent but on the other hand it smells like sexy and a little bit dark so i really really like this i, ha I have to play around with this more but so far so good um i kind of expected it to be very heavy like a I thought that's what I had heard about Good Girl Gone Bad by by Killian. But to me, I feel like this could definitely be a daytime scent or a nighttime scent. Yeah, just depending on what you're doing. So I really like this and I can't really I can't wait to really play with that some more. So the next fragrance I am super excited about, and that is from By Killian, and this is called Love Don't Be Shy. And I feel like this was made really popular. Um, when it came out that Rihanna said this is like her go-to scent <laughs> but this smells so good I don't know about the Rihanna claims but I know that this smells so good so it's like a it has a marshmallow scent to it along with orange blossom which I'm finding that I really love orange blossom and it's creamy what's up with all the creamy fragrances this time around but it's creamy um i can feel smell a little bit of depth to it though um it's almost like a, a boozy type fragrance i feel like this scent though is very very like addictive like when i first got it and i sprayed it i wanted to wear it right then like i <laughs> i went to the bathroom and tried to like rub off all the perfume i had on earlier so i could bathe myself in this and i absolutely love it i haven't worn it very much because like i said i haven't had it that long but this this is like a smell that i i don't i don't think i'll ever get tired of this i mean i know i just got it but i almost feel like this would be a fragrance that i could use up the whole thing that's how much i love it right now so i think it's the orange blossom really i love the smell of orange blossom and i, I feel like this one is just like a more complex version of that so highly recommend this <laughs> Uh, I can't really speak to its longevity or anything yet um, just because like I said I haven't worn it that much <laughs> but I don't care like it smells so good that it's fine with me as long as it lasts on me about four or five hours I'm good with that so yeah love don't be shy by Killian. The next fragrance I never really heard anybody talk about but I just came across it and based on the name, I knew I wanted to try it. And this is from Guerlain. It's part of the Aqua Allegoria line and it is Ginger Picante. Now the Aqua Allegoria line is a line of eau de toilettes and they come out with, I guess a couple a year, um, but they are known to be like lightweight, refreshing type scents. So this is not like the deep, dark things that I usually go for um, or that I've been going for a lot lately anyway. <laughs> So I knew I wanted to try it because I love the smell of ginger and this is supposed to smell more like a candied ginger and it smells really fantastic. I was very happy or very happily surprised when I got this. Yes, yeah, so you can definitely smell the ginger and maybe a little bit of lime or lemon, which may sound weird, but 
Honestly, it smells really good. It's, it smells to me mostly like candied ginger. Not like gingerbread, but like the candied ginger that you can use to bake with or whatever. Or if you ever ate ginger candy before, that's what it smells like with a twist of something else. But it smells really, really good. I love the sweet and spicy um, smell of ginger. So I am super excited to get more use out of this in the spring and summer. I probably won't wear it too much now even though it is hot so i might wear it this week in this week in florida it's like where where i live the highs are going to be like in the 80s all week so i might wear it this week but it's in this bottle gorgeous too and these are relatively economical <clears throat> this one is just came out in 2019 so you can't really get it from places like fragrance net yet um but for a full-size bottle of this if you pay full retail it's 105 dollars but this is like a 4.2 ounce bottle yeah 4.2 ounce bottle for 105 dollars from Guerlain that's a pretty good price um however if you're looking for other scents in this line you can get them off places like fragrance net or other like discounters website and you probably won't pay more than like 30 or 40 dollars for it all right, I have three more to go and we're gonna be really quick on these three because I have kind of mentioned these three in other videos. Um, but I have Tom Ford Champaka Absolute, Absolute and I used my gift card to purchase this and this smells like, it smells like you're in a garden drinking. <laughs> Initially when I smelled it, I thought it smelled like champagne, like drinking drinking um champagne in a garden however after looking at the nose i know that's the cognac that i'm smelling so you smell that slightly boozy smell but you also smell the powdery floral so it's sweet and very feminine but also it has some depth to it it's not the average floral so i really like that because i'm not a huge fan of like really floral things so this is different for me and I feel like this will be a great year-round scent I actually wore this today and I got a few compliments so that's always a plus <laughs> the next one that I have here is another Tom Ford <clears throat> and this was also with my gift card but this is fucking fabulous and I mentioned this in a vlog but this is a very like kind of strange scent so this is not something I would recommend blind buying it is sweet but it's also spicy and it's also has some greenery to it so i think the green note that's in there that that plant-like smell is what will probably turn some people off um so i really don't think this is a blind buy you need to see how this smells on your skin but i do really like it and it for some reason it's kind of like addictive so once i wore this one time and i wanted to keep wearing it um but i will say it's probably not the most likable scent <laughs> so make sure you try this out on your skin before you purchase it but i really like it and then the last one is one that i actually did a blog post on already but this is from montal and it's called sweet oriental dream and this is like sexy baby powder <laughs> <laughs> that is the best way to describe it for me it's very sweet it's very warm it's very inviting but it definitely smells like baby powder i love it honestly i don't feel like it makes me smell like a kid because of the added like sweetness and warmth to it i think it has honey and vanilla in it as well and almond um so because of that i don't feel like i smell like a baby but that is what comes to mind when i smell this so good and Montal a lot of Montal fragrances again you can purchase off fragrance net not sponsored wish I was but <laughs> I think I got this for half the price of retail so yeah I absolutely love this one so that is it for my fragrance haul I'm glad to see this video was not as long as my last fragrance haul make sure you stay tuned for part two and again, if you have questions or you want to hear more in depth what I think about any of the fragrances, let me know and I will feature them in a Fragrance Friday over on my blog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.